Okay, so let's explore this project browser for just a couple more minutes. I'm going to start by closing this properties dialog box just so that we can maximize this. Um, the way that I get that back is to go to the view tab over the top, click on the drop down for the user interface, and that allows me to bring back that properties dialog or take it away. Okay, so now I've got my project browser open and we've looked at the floor plans and we've looked at 3D views and elevations and things like that and we've created sections and we've renamed. Um, schedules and quantities are also just another way of viewing our model. So if I click the plus beside that, the plus just means that there's stuff already there. It's got a door schedule, lighting fixture, room schedule, win window schedule. The only thing that would be populated right now would be on my door schedule, so I'm going to double click on that just to open that. And it shows that uh, door, that lonely door that I have in my model. Um, it's the second one that I placed, so it automatically numbers my doors, one, two, three, whatever. Uh, that happened to be door number two, so even though I deleted door number one, um, that's still door number two. And then uh, below my sheets, I'm sorry, below my schedules and quantities, I have sheets. And that's pretty straightforward as well. But you'll notice in uh, residential that it pre-populates um, with the views on the various sheets. So on sheet A1, my first floor plan, it's already got that view on my on my sheet. I don't have to actually drag it over there. As down here on A13, my interior elevations, um, let me zoom out a little bit there, I had to actually drag those views over and that's when that plus happened and so there's actually stuff on that sheet and those are the two views that are on the sheet. Now Revit will not allow me to place views multiple times. So each one of these views that happen up here in my project browser like floor plan or foundation, each one of those can only be placed one time on a sheet and uh, if I try to do it more than once it's going to give me an error message saying that I can't do that. So I'm going to get back my properties dialog and we've only got a couple more things left. I'm going to slide up in here to floor plan and just open a floor plan view. And I did that because I want to get back um, the controls that are at the bottom of this view window. So we've done, um, we've worked kind of counterclockwise here. We've gone through properties and project um, browser. Now we need to look at the controls at the bottom of the sheet here, or at the bottom of my view window. So I've got things like scale, so I can change the scale that I'm looking at. And then this is fairly important. Now let me zoom in on this plan view here. So uh, this next control is detail level and right now it's set at coarse and that's the default. So I'm going to change that to fine and see what happens here. So when I have fine detail it shows me the parts and pieces. Um, so why would I ever want to not see the parts and pieces? Well when you get into a big model you may have some problems with um, computing space, regeneration time, things like that. And so if you can leave it set to course it's going to save you a little bit of time and in a big project that can add up. My next control down there is my graphic style, my visual style. So I click on that and I've got options in here for shaded and realistic colors and uh, hidden line which is what we default to uh, but I'm going to click on shaded and that allows you to see uh, your various materials assigned to an actual uh, color and so that's pretty helpful sometimes to actually see what's going on and then I've got uh, sun path and shadows available so that I can control that and see what's going on. Revit has in the manage tab here has a way of setting location and so if I click on manage and then I click on location I'll get a little dialog here that's going to ask me or tell me where it is right now and it defaults to be let me make this bigger it defaults to be in Boston and so there I am I'm gonna uh, click that it defaults to be in Boston I'm in Dayton, so I'm going to drag this over here to Dayton. Let me zoom out some. Boy, I'm going to be dragging all day if I do it this way. So let me zoom out some. I'm in the middle of Pennsylvania now, is that right? No, I guess I'm still in Massachusetts. Uh, da -da -da. Oop, wrong part. There we go. Now 
time in Dayton. So longitude, latitude. And so why this is important, I'm going to click OK on that. Why that's important is that when I do this sun um, and shadow, they want it to be accurate, or you want it to be accurate based on the location where you are. You can also change it for um, day of the year and things like that, and time of day. So we want it to be accurate for that. So let's say we're going to model our home office over here in the corner, and I'm going to put my desk where I want my desk to actually be, and I'm going to place my computer on my desk, and I want to see if based on the window and the orientation of my house, am I going to get uh, direct sunlight onto my computer monitor and therefore not be able to see anything. So we want it to be accurate so that we can make an analysis like that and make design decisions. Other items that are down here, let me zoom out a little bit, um, there are crop regions or crop views and, and turn on and off those crop views. Um, that's mechanical stuff that um, managing your views that'll all come in time and then finally there's a uh, temporary hide or isolate that's a pretty cool thing so let's say we've got a really complex model going on here and uh, I need to see what's underneath this sofa so I can hide the sofa so I click on the sofa to select it I click on temporary hide and I hit hide element I get this turquoise ring around my view telling me that I have hidden something but I can go ahead and work on whatever's underneath it that I needed it to get out of the way for but I haven't actually deleted it so I click on this and I hit reset temporary hide and there it is